Okay, we're here. We're live at the... We don't have any people yet. Hold on. I want to flip the camera around. Hi, Trump Duck! Oh my god, people are coming. Hold on, people. People are coming. Wait, <laughs> the camera's dusty. The camera's dusty. I like the live nature of Periscope. It's yeah. more unscripted than... Absolutely. Okay, you hold this for a minute. I have a tripod. Hello, everybody! I Shoot. Did you bring your tripod? I've been carrying it around before. Aha! She found her tripod. Hi, everybody! Okay, here we go. I have, we can show the getting the tripod out. Uh, okay, let me film oh, you the camera. Okay. Hello, Anna from Sweden. Really, from Sweden? Ooh. Somebody's staying up late. <laughs> <laughs> This came the day before I left. That was handy. Very handy. Very, very handy. One man. So we are at the Hyatt Regency. Yep. We are. So Stacy just finished teaching a class. I did. I just finished making my dream list of purchases. How long is it? Yeah, but did the Not very. Just expensive. Yeah, I know. That's always the problem, isn't it? Okay, I'm just going to turn it. We can't both be in it at the same time, but we can both. Well, we sort of can. Turn. Yeah, well, now we're here. Hi, people. Hi, all of those people. Oh, and you're sort of back. There we go. That's there good. We go. Okay, so we were just talking about how, hi, hi, Sue, how can people hear us? I think if we put it here. Can you guys hear us? Say hi if you can hear us. Yeah, oh, there's hearts. That counts. Okay, hi. Good. Okay. So I just finished teaching a crochet class that's how to read a crochet pattern. And my experience is that like a knitter comes into a class and they're like, oh, I don't know how to do cables, teach me how to do cables. But crocheters in general, they've been crocheting for 20 to 30 years and they already know all the stitches and they already know everything, but they just can't read a pattern yet, which is a completely different teaching problem than... Because it's how do you teach something that you inherently already know? Right. Like, they know how to chain, they know how to single crochet, double crochet, whatever you tell them. But it's putting it into words and making a document that they can follow and know how to read to anticipate problems and things like that. And also, the crochet patterns, I think it's true, are just written in a... Because every instruction has what you're doing and where to put the hook. Yeah. Which is different from knitting, because knitting, you're almost yeah, always it's doing the next Knitting is, yeah, vertical. And so the instructions just go sort of haywire. You could put where to put it first or second. And I think they're a lot more complicated. Right, yes. So do you think crocheters are a little more adventurous? Oh, they're definitely more adventurous. Um, I think I was telling you earlier that I used to work at this shop in the Bay Area. I was running their mountain. And it was consistently people have Wait, which shop? It was called Knit Together. Oh, it is now, it oh. has been sold and it's called now Avenue Yarns. Oh. They have revamped the entire shop. Oh. If you're in the Bay Area, you definitely can check I'm it out. I'm surprised by how much yarn there is in California because oh my it's warm. God. Like, why is there so much yarn? But it's, it's, it's a crafty like, area, especially the Bay Area is a very crafty There's an herb for keeping warm, there's the yarn over truck, and we have to yeah. And the market session here at West is packed. Really, really packed. Hi, wifey. Are you her wifey? Jolie, Hi, it's Jolie. Hi, Hi, wifey. I was like, Tim doesn't. But Tim doesn't periscope you. Never know. <laughs> Maybe he is. <laughs> anyway, as we were saying, I used to run this whole session, and it was so funny to see that knitters would come to me with a problem, and you need to take a very structured approach to how, like, figure out and suss out how they like to learn. Yeah. Whether they like to learn by you talking to them or you taking the, you know, their hands and making moves. While fresh airs would come to me and they're like, yeah, so there's this Mobius Powell with cables and I have never knitted a stitch in my life, but I think I'm going to try this. And you're like, bravo, there is nothing I love more than a good adventure. My second project, or maybe my third, was two at a time socks on two circulars. Because nice. I was like, why not? Yeah. Shame the time. Yeah, that's how much crocheters are. Yeah, I actually learned to crochet before I learned to 
did too. So well, many people are the same way. Yeah. Because my grandmother used to say that you have to learn the structure of the chain to understand the nature of the next stitch. I don't know how true that is. Is she doing Spanish? Yeah. No, I, yeah, I don't think that's true. I don't know if I got any deep meaning about the chain. But uh, I know I tension my yarn differently because I hold the yarn in my left hand as yeah. I'm knitting. Yeah. Which the yeah. crocheters hold their yarn in their left hand. So I, I hold when I crochet my left, but when, my, when I'm knitting, I hold my right. Oh, interesting. Which is why, for example, it's really easy for me to get even tension with the color. Right, because it's both right. hands carry the same movements. Right. We get to order. We haven't ordered yet. We haven't even had lunch yet. <laughs> You just have to look perfect, I think. They might look too interesting, but they need to look not starved enough. What's your tell us about your sweater pattern? Uh, this is Parallel Plains. It's made in Malabrigo Rios. It's from my Malabrigo ebook that I launched in October. It's one of the five patterns that are included in there. And it's a peeling cardigan. And it's got a cute little worker stitch with this on the sides and in the back. So it creates like a super flowy shape. Yeah. It's super flattering. I've been getting really good comments Hi. about it. Yes, we are. We're live. That's okay. We're live. Did you do your hair today? Yeah, you your hair and your makeup, right? No fears. Can I have an iced tea, please? And I am going to have the spinach salad plate. You like to add? Why do you add salmon? Salmon, yeah. Yeah, that's some potion. And I am going to have the truffle mushroom pizza. And I'll stay with you. Thank you so much. Say bye bye to the viewers. So, uh, yeah, you were saying you learned to crochet before now. Yeah, I did. I learned to crochet when I was like six. And apparently, I didn't. My mom, I was like, Mom, why didn't you teach me to knit? Because she couldn't knit too. And she was like, I tried, couldn't do it. <laughs> oh, sorry, Mom. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I did. Oh, so is your grandmother Spanish? Yes. My entire family is Spanish. Where um, from? From Valencia. Okay. That's the East Coast. Do the oranges come from there? They do. They do. It's actually uh, one of my favorite sports when I was a kid is oranges. Yeah, you just, you know, you go through the streets and there are orange trees and mandarin trees everywhere. So they just grab one and eat it. Whoa. I, that's why I love because California has so many orange trees and lemon trees. It's like, yeah. I always thought so. We, uh, one time we were visiting Tim's cousin in the country and we we stopped and bought a bag of oranges for her, you know, like the house visiting gift. I mean, I don't know, you're supposed to bring something. And so we bought a whole bag of oranges, and the next morning we woke up and Tim's was like, here's fresh orange juice. And I was like, what's it like to be from a place where there are so many oranges that you squeeze them in the juice and you don't even bother to eat them? Like, what's that got to be like? Oh, Lee's here. Oh, so exciting. Uh, <laughs> I just can't imagine, like, who makes juice? Like, that's a lot. I mean, I pay, like, what, a dollar a piece for an orange? <laughs> I'm not squeezing that juice. I eat that orange. Yeah, I, I love, I love biting into an orange juice. Yeah, all of the juices washing into the juice. Yeah, what's it? Good. So good. I love your necklace. Thank you. Show it off. Show it off. It's my I heart yarn, yarn necklace. I was going, so I found, people may be familiar, I downloaded the emoji keyboard. There's been an, okay, so Ruth asked, how can you not have data on your phone? Because my house has Wi-Fi, the Target has Wi-Fi, and where else do you go? Starbucks has, Starbucks has Wi-Fi, Caribou Coffee has Wi-Fi, the airport has Wi-Fi. Really, where? Would I use data? And you should not be using a phone while you're driving, even though it's technically legal in Minnesota. You should. What? It is. Minnesota is like a rural, but it is still legal to talk on the phone and text and drive. There are no vehicle emissions testing in Minnesota. I'm moving to Minnesota. <laughs> oh, and check out our driver's license. We're one of the only three states where the driver's license is not compatible with federal regulations. What? So. 
Well, because it's right, you know. Uh, so in, in 2017, you won't be able to get on the plane with a Minnesota driver's license because it's not, like, federally valid. So I'm going to need to see your driver's license when we finish. I showed it to the end, so it said, like, you need data. No, there's a lot of, because I live in Minneapolis. Yeah. So there's it's a big, Wi-Fi, yeah, it's right? a big but urban area. The state thinks it's rural, even though Minneapolis is a city. So anyway, I don't have data. Oh, and New York. Yeah, yeah there's three or four states. Um, but I have a passport, <laughs> so it's okay. Um, oh, so I don't have data, and I also am not very good with my phone. So I don't have an emoji keyboard. So I downloaded an emoji keyboard, and apparently these are standard with apples, but I don't have one. And the whole keyboard changed. Like, it's not just like there was another, like, a lot of them are like there's another language, and it happens to be the language of emoji. But this was like a whole new keyboard, and I had to, like, go select this new keyboard. So, anyway, I uninstalled it. So, this was all to say I wanted to type on Instagram, I heart yarn, but I can't. I don't have the You're gonna ask for it's like the less than three. So I know, and I don't know if people are even going to know what that means. It's like, Maddie, I try and tell her, like, oh, that's a phone. Oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah. Um, your kid is not old enough to be searching Wi-Fi out. No, she doesn't, but I try and tell her, like, oh, this is a telephone, like, you know, the little play, what is Fisher Price toy. And I'm like, oh, look at this little telephone, and it has a rotary dial, and it rings, and I'm like, why am I telling her this? She, this is never going to be her experience to have a phone in her entire life. never going to have a phone with keys or the rotary thing. Yeah, it's not going to be very... Speaking of keys, can we talk about hotel keys, because... You have to keep them not near your wallet or near your phone. Are you they'll, me? they'll demagnetize. So where are you supposed to keep your hotel key? That's what I want to know. I think that's for the phone. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. I have never heard of that one before. I've demagnetized yeah. it twice this trip. We are, uh, like, so for my friends are staying at the moment in Airbnb. Yeah. And so they have this, oh, careful. They have this massive padlock. Boxes. Oh, like for real? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like you open it and the code and then you're like a little thing open. Yeah. <laughs> I am blown away by these things. It was my first Airbnb stay. I'm like, wow, really like a whole house. And I'm like, it's the people who just left who tried to yeah, have our, iPod, our, our tripod were like super irritated that we were doing a live. We are very, very, very worried. Very worried. Okay. But we are fun. Yeah, we've got that going for ourselves. Have you had a chance to browse marketplace? Only half. Only half. Like, so the market sessions are over by like the 1,000s, so I've gotten to do, and we did a pod, what, what is this thing called? Periscope. From Stephanie, which is in the 1300s. So I've done like the 1300 to yeah. like 800. Oh, okay. You got a good you, But I feel like I just looked. I didn't like look. I just browsed. I didn't like look at everything, you know, so I feel like I need to spend a lot more time. Are you there. teaching tomorrow? I am teaching tomorrow, well, and then I leave. Well, I teach in the morning, and then I leave. Well, you still have, like, a couple of hours. Right, after lunch, your... I'm going to go browse the market, yeah. and then after my last market session, I'm going to browse the market. And then there's the student banquet. Is Maddie at home or hiding? Oh, she's oh, at I home. Was here. I know. I know. So Come this baby is my first time, well not right now, but two nights ago was my first time having dinner without Maddie. Oh, my first man. time being away from her for like, you know, a while. Um, and the irony is, so my whole time I've had Maddie, I've been looking for, there are these seats that exist that you put the baby in while you're going to the potty. So the baby's not crawling on the floor. Yeah. I've never found one of these. I get off the plane in the San Jose airport. First bathroom I go to has a seat. And I'm like, I'm putting, because she can't walk yet, so you can stand her up, but she'll just sit back down. And fortunately, my purse is interesting enough. I'm like, here, just look at my purse for five minutes. Well, or, well not that long, but two minutes. And I'm like petrified she's going to fall around. And the first time I have gone to an airport without Maddie has one of the seats. So... Man, it's just bad luck. But no, Tim is very competent and they're having a blast together. I was worried that she would be upset because she has a sign for daddy. 
so she when Tim goes away, she's always like, Daddy, where's Daddy? And if I get the car keys, she'll be like, Oh, so we're gonna go pick up Daddy now, right? And I'm like, Oh, maybe. not yet. But she doesn't have a sign for mom. Because like Tim says, it's like a fish with water. Yeah. You don't know the water's there. So no one talks about me. There's no sign for mommy. It's just that lady who's like there. next to me all the time. And so she can't even really ask about me. But I send her videos. I record little videos. Oh, that's sweet. Um, so yeah, she's doing fine. She's a, she's very chill. She's very She like, seems like a very chill kid. She's Tim's kid for sure. Tim was very, very chill. Eat and mama. Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah, that sounds like that. <laughs> sounds like fun. Well, so she can tell you what I can. I thought she would have been rest in the marketplace. I oh yeah, came sorry. yesterday after lunch. And I have It's amazing. Even though I haven't finished browsing, it's amazing. I mean it's the best. Market. Yesterday it was way packed. Yeah. Like okay, so I don't know if many of you know but the Santa Clara Convention Center is right across the street from the Levi Stadium, so where the 49ers play. Oh, is that where the Super Bowl was? Yeah, that's where the Super Bowl was. Wow. So alright, you can imagine it's a massive football stadium and they have their parking structure in the convention center has the Hyatt parking structure, which was closed yesterday, okay. and the five-story bar park next to the hotel in the convention center it was so packed I actually had to go all the way to the wow. to find the parking spot. I have never seen a marketplace more packed than this. It's crazy. Today it's been easier, like we found the parking spot just for the second floor. So it was like, okay, did you come early? I think, no, we only arrived at like 145. Oh, wow. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, it's absolutely packed. The place says that if you are coming to Citrus West, you need to check out the Nicola Peninsula Club. Yeah. Because this is not something that is very well advertised. And Sula only do sale. So, Citrus West is the only customer show that they do. Interesting. It's the only one where you can actually go up to the people behind the dye pots and talk to them and discuss the yarn quality with them. So, and Sula is one spot that you gotta go to. And if there's anybody like Sumi's cat yeah. who's coming from all the way across the country, you also have to make sure. And they all have special things yes. happening. They so have special this is so we talked about this yesterday. Like there are these kits that are put together that are one-off skeins or whatever. They're just too much trouble to list on a website because why are you gonna photograph each one, put them on, make them the same? But you can get them in person because they're bundled up and ready. So that's your chance to get some exclusive stuff happening. And lots of book signings too. Yeah, there are a lot of book, lot of book signings. So Joanna Johnson has a new book, Henry's Hat. I know she's signing books over in the 1300s and I will be reviewing a copy soon. Ooh, our we got our food. Yay, thank you. Yum, yum. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. Um, yeah, there are, there's um, this massive um, book marketplace store, yeah. and I saw the funniest thing because I had it. Oh, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I, I don't know if I'm funny enough, but you probably can. Um, yeah, so I have been dithering back and forth whether or not I wanted to buy all of Barbara Walker's stitch Oh, that's a hard one. It's, you know, yeah. it's something that I think is a designer issue. Yeah. But it's always like, well, I have so many stitch dictionary, right? It's like, whenever people have traveled to Nordic countries, Japan and stuff like that, it's like, yeah, I have yeah. dictionary. They have all four. Oh. So I came into Lane and I like, oh, they need to and you don't have to fly home, so it's not a wait. Exactly. My car is parked right there. Right 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 it's four books. Right. I don't know. Yes, yeah, so I may end up going out with all four of the stitch uh, I'm not sure what I, I feel like getting some soft yarn is always okay because you can just make pair of socks. Like it's not uh, have a lot you of pressure. Seen the white line? Mm. I got some white birch from Stitch East. Yeah. Very good. She has rainbow self striping colorways that are so. I got the Sparkle Pony colorway yesterday. Oh, I could get the sparkly soft yarn that's pink. Soft pale pink with the rainbow stripes. I have to. I have to. Mandy has a hat from Sparkle And what else? What else? What else is good? 
uh, you have to see, for example, uh, Spin Cycle Yarns. They are really cool girls from Lock in Washington, I believe. They have like this whole hand spun collection that they mix with commercial yarns to make like extra. Oh, that's products. interesting. Like, really, really cool. I have uh, totes and t-shirts. Oh, I like a verb for keeping warm. <laughs> As a store, it's very good, and their stall is also very nice. So if you come, you don't get a chance to go to some of the stores. Mm -hmm. But they got like Adrian. I think that's how you say her name. She forges some mushrooms and uses them to dye. And I'm really into mushrooms, so I've been using her yarn yeah. to make some mushroom socks. It's super cool stuff. Yeah, I mean, Kristen, the other colleague. Orange to do just a book last year. Mm. Uh, modern natural dyeing. Yeah. So it's all about you know foraging for your stuff. <laughs> Speaking of natural dyes, a uh, very good friend of mine, Krista from Peter Studios. Oh, yeah. She's got a slow up in here. It's like the first slow that she's done in eight years. And she also does uh, little mini sets oh, with uh, yeah, natural dyes. Oh, dye. oh, oh that's so she also forages around. Yeah. yeah, she's got some really, really interesting mini skin sets that, you know, you can just use as an accent, like a shawl, or a or whatever, which is something that uh, Stephanie so basically. Yeah, so she told me, she said, she calls them yarn cramps. Which is a good idea for like, what do you do with them? You use them for coloring. So, we should probably get to eating. Thank you. It was great meeting everybody. Bye. Bye.